sort of the main zone of the warehouse, right? This is uh, WWE live event production logistics, right? So this is where the rings, the canvases, the mats, the turnbuckle pads, the whatever else goes out on the road comes in and out of, right? So right here, you're looking at like a few of our 17 to 18 rings that are all throughout the world. Basically, so here's the constructed ring um, made by one, made by a gentleman named Mark Carpenter, uh, aptly enough, and he only makes rings for us. So, so like this is there's, there's very specific like it's all changed throughout the years. Like there've been modifications, etc. But like this is this is basically everything that goes into a ring. So the these big, are, the big these are still active rings. Then these are active used. rings. Okay. Yeah. We just loaded up one for India yesterday for like a show in early, I think it's early December that we have a show in India so it's got to get on freight, you know, freight oh, wow. like you know, arrive there and make its way to the arena or whatever so you give it plenty of time to, to make its way there but uh, you throw on chairs you throw on bicycle rack you know etc yeah here's all the things like they've got the chairs like this is kind of fun right so before I just had a bunch of Kindle sticks here um, now it's nice to have a little spot for white just, lanterns and for Xavier. It just cracks me up how how, uh, how organized it is. It's like kendo sticks, as if you're Francesca. walking through Home Depot. So wait, Francesca's in one of these? Maybe? I got Francesca yeah. number one is sitting over there somewhere. <laughs> um, she broke. That's insane. I think Francesca number one was actually this poem. Uh, so it's a the plant that died in death. <laughs> and, yeah, sorry. That one didn't get archived. Yeah, yeah. Bailey sure. buddy. Uh, not not going to make it. <laughs> um, it's kind of a random, fun fact. I didn't mention anybody else on the tour. Ooh. The, we get the exclusive right here. The turnbuckle pads that we use, and this is, well, this is kind of not exactly the right one. There's a different fabric on the front. But our new turnbuckle pads, the back has to be made with something that's pretty resistant, durable, right? Because it's got a bend like that. Uh -huh. People are banging into it. Body bag material. Ooh, <laughs> Same material as the body bags made out of. Cool. That's really sweet. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, so the company that did this for us, like, worked through a bunch of different materials because they kept, kept you know, splitting in the back, and they're like, oh, what about body bags? So, I could imagine. Yeah, those are pretty durable. Yeah. <laughs> or some portion of your. Can we look at that? Um, this is would have been uh, as of as of you know. Today, well, yesterday we loaded all the rings, or sorry, all the, the, the ladders for a TLC. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so those are all. You see the sparkly the one back there? Uh, oh, yeah. Ladder. Not for match use. So, That's is that right, for it's actually. A, be, it's a gold or a Stardust ladder. So, those are actual yeah, ladders that you're supposed that to use? Yeah, after you died, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was for Mania. Zone. Obviously, we have just like piles of cool old like ring skirts. This is like the never ending project. This is like bad for some ring skirts oh, that's, and, and stuff like, like that. But, right. um, you know, our rings, uh, you know, another fun thing like another, other wrestling organizations or other companies don't do ropes the same way we do. We use like one inch sisal, like a unoiled rope. A lot of people use cable. So it's just our thing is rope and duct tape. tape. Yeah. That's it. Interesting. Um, cool. There's like, you could just look through everything. Is that like a real one? Oh, that okay. Know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Either way, I'm continually impressed. like building a collection, whether it's like. The other year, and Brock threw this thing like Can at his death. Oh, no. Yeah, it <laughs> like basically did. Uh, I have that. I have that. Uh, that's a door, car door. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, remember. I that. do have that too. But like wow. watching this and seeing Brock goes like like slams it onto this onto the corner of a uh, of uh, steel steps and just freaking explode it. And these things don't like. You want to give yeah, give it a little? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a real deal. Yeah. So like. Having that explode is, is kind of crazy. Um, 
So I'm so, excited about this one right here. What's in this stern oh, pinball, pinball box? Is that an actual? We have pinball machines back in the tower. Somebody told me you have to keep the boxes for pinball machines, so I kept them. Yeah, because that's crazy. I, I love that the new pinball machines yeah. I have. A pinball machine? It's a big box to keep. Luckily, I have space. Send it to Pat Pat. Yo, yo, like value of this goes down if you don't keep it on the hunt. These are some crazy metals and stuff. So these are legitimate tombstones. Wow. These are like 1,700 plus pounds. Uh, marble, um, which is funny, you know, you think like, hey, the company could like, you could probably get away with doing something like light or foam yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But like, I, I guarantee, I, I totally understand Vince's mindset on this sort of thing, where it's like, well, what if somebody bumps into it? Oh, yeah. You know, then do I what, what do you do? So you're like, all right, Vince, we're making real tombstone. <laughs> So we got that one, and then we have the one from 2010 here, which is like a like a granite um, material. Also, yeah, thunder sign sitting back there. WC Dude, love shack. Oh, goodness. So when wow. this is unreal. So when they were working here, when when W Chevy got bought out, is <laughs> you guys had to expand. And then, well, no, we, we, we didn't have the space at that time. Oh, okay. We were like in several different spaces. I consolidated a lot of that stuff. Oh, um, because uh, I was just imagining once WCW got bought out, you got like all this stuff coming. We took in. trophies, yeah. That's cool. That's a pretty fun fan fest thing. This is fun. Ray Mysterio pop up thing. Oh. <laughs> we popped up out of the stage. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, we actually bought that off of Garth Brooks. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. What, did, what, what was he doing? Hey, you remember how big of a deal Garth Brooks was in was the late 90s? Was he popping up like Ray? Oh, you yeah, freaking just like yeah. swinging from the rafters, I popping know, up, I doing all sorts that. of stuff. That's so, <laughs> so that's where that came from. That's hilarious. Uh, that was always one of my favorite entrances when he would pop oh, up so like good. that. It was great. That's really cool. So this these is... are all like ring aprons and stuff just from past events and... Yeah, and it goes, it's like, I'm trying to think if there's... I mean, you've had so many. Like, yeah, like I mean, this constant. is like the first Hall of Fame right here. Um, I feel like there's, there's that, I mean, I haven't even scratched the surface. Like, it's such a big project. Like, I don't even know how to legitimately yeah. organize it. Well, okay. This not that this? Yeah, it will get, we'll get a better view of it. That's the best. Um, that would have been where the... The LSL was, but that's also out because that's our next picture. That's actually wood um, and metal. So you really got to get that stuff out pretty quick too, and well in advance. And yeah, I mean it all depends too. Sometimes it goes to the fabricators and they work on it a little bit and make sure it's you know structurally sound prior, um, or maybe they want to practice in it or whatever. You know, it could be a number of things. But sure. Is it still in working order? One of them is is I don't know which one it is. I think it, it's at WrestleFest. They still have one at one of the barcades in my town. Oh, really? Wrestle Fest. I go play that one time. What town are you at? Omaha. Oh, it's a barcade? Yep. Yeah, pretty trendy little area. Um, so, yeah, this is just, like insane. Yeah. <laughs> Dot com. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> the albums. They have them with oh, the man. cassette tapes. I had so many of those when I was a kid. That's Every so cool, one. man. Oh, I'm geeking out right now. This is, this is like my, the one thing I wanted to see in WWE was this warehouse. Is that Bray Wyatt stuff? It's crazy. This is, that's the Jerotron thing, man. I was wondering if it was like the Alistair Black, like when they raise him up. Like the, <laughs> I wonder if they have that. I mean, yeah, I'm wondering. More Francesca. Like Believe in Bo. Is this actually? Are those are actually real. Like this is all Pat Patterson's, like uh, 
and cheese. I, rec I recently grabbed that from him. This is all like that stuff to, so to, cool. to be organized. But, um, you know, it's probably just his expenses in here though. 1971. Oh, there it is. He was working in San Francisco area, right? Fresno, Pampero Furpo, uh, Superstar oh Billy Graham, God. Ray Stevens, do be there, 1130. That's my Pat Patterson impression. <laughs> That's really cool. God he damn it. it. And he actually wrote them all That down. is one of the coolest things I've seen. That I, is I amazing. I love stuff like this. I love it. Um, I have Vince's booking sheets as well, but I feel put away somewhere. That's understandable. Slight. scrapbooks and stuff like that so there's a lot I mean there's a million different types of things to collect in, as was, far as the was that yeah. during the the skits where they were making fun of WCW no that was that was that was, an actual uh, that was Rick Flair that was Rick Flair as the as the president of, of world championship wrestling mm -hmm. I can show you the magazine cover um, <laughs> these giant signs here um, so when we went HD look real bad <laughs> okay as you can see I mean like look at how like the lines are kind of bad but yeah. like pre HD it looked okay so well you know I know a lot of people complain about like oh I wish they had the physical set still like it was cool to have but like as far as the old stuff goes it looks it would look really bad on TV <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting I um, thought about that all right shoot back to the fifth here is it, is it like in two parts is it's in one three hand? parts oh, wow. here the thumb, the thumb is over this way hold on I saw, Let's the, go. I saw the thumb over there Is that the actual King of the Rings chair? The fist, Ray Mysterio, Kurt Angle. Yep. Oh, man. That was a great time. If I could just come in here and grab a couple things, that would be the most amazing deal. Like, can I just have like one thing? A shield chair. Mannequins? <laughs> Hot dog? Rosebud? The Enzo chair. Yeah. That's hilarious. This is crazy. Oh, funny. Oh yeah. yeah. This is like the, the tip of the iceberg too. I've got like my little cafe room that's full of like, all the like robes and stuff like that. Which, this is so cool. Um, it's kind of cool to like come across things like this, right? Yerple and Jojo, Funtime Palace t-shirt, and guess what? That was a real clown for hire. Oh my it wasn't just an actor playing Yerple or whatever, like that was legitimately Yerple from 51, <laughs> the 517 area code. I forget where that's supposed to be. It's like Minneapolis, I think. It's like, I don't know. Um, and this is like kind of the prop, like test area for certain things. Oh, I don't know. Some people appreciate the old, the old oh, ring crew man. outfits. Yeah, yeah. It would be a great Halloween costume for someone. <laughs> <laughs> I was very excited when I found these in the bottom of a box, and they're like totally unused too. Like, yeah, I was gonna say that's in great condition. Yeah, it, old it was see. just never, it was just never used. That's so cool. All right, here you go. Here's your, here's your thumb. So the fist is crazy, right? Like it took up a whole truck, and. It's, it couldn't be built on the stage because it's too heavy for the stage. So they had to build it, flip it up, and then no, climb inside, see if they had the old. put the fireworks in, build the stage underneath. Oh, wow. These all Bray Wyatt chairs. Yeah. Quite a few of them, I would imagine. I mean, this is obviously Coffin Alley. Right on the, right on the front here, this is kind of funny. Like, this is the thing that they would catch Goldberg Sparks in for to save arena floors. <laughs> and then Chuck Palumbo would do burnouts on his motorcycle on that piece of metal. <laughs> so that you also would, oh, so it's all just things to like that's make sure crazy you don't that, damage the arena. It's crazy that they actually think of like, hey, we need to catch Goldberg Sparks. Yeah, we use that this year. There's a promo leading up to it. Yeah, the Undertaker's Taker in the graveyard. I bought this that was a very tombstone cool at a prop store like three years ago because I was like, man, I like this. It's like not foam and it's not too heavy. 
and I just had it sitting around, and then they were like, hey, we need a cool tombstone. I said, I got the perfect thing for you. <laughs> That's awesome. I was so excited. Like, way too excited. Like, you got to contribute to it. Like, yeah. That's huge. That's yeah. really cool. Do they just give you a call? Hey, we need this. Do you have it? Yeah, all the time. That's cool. All the time. Taker symbol that he was hoist, hoisting Stone Cold Steve Austin on. <laughs> this one's Stephanie was on that she got hung up on. Plus Stone Cold, plus yeah. Midian, plus who else? Who else got hung up? I don't remember. I figured this would be in his in his house. <laughs> He's got a better place to this. These are all the shark cages. I mean, this we used in the uh, late '90s. This was like a Jim Crockett promotion. It's like WCW Shark Cage. Oh, I actually like this one the most because it's like it feels more like a shark. Well, I don't know. It just feels like more like a feels torture, legit, like a torture yeah. chamber. Yeah, you know, I kind of dig it. Could have kept Enzo in there if you had that one. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> they got any, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe even like we'll randomly get stuff back like that was just used with Cena and Rusev it was like oh, yeah, those yeah. two things the flag like, so, match yeah. so yeah I'm like alright cool now we have Bulgarian flag and US totally flag totally that again right why not <laughs> yeah I'll take care yeah thank you I mean like up here you've got the giant slammies are in here the big gold slammies uh, we did box there's legitimately boxes in here I've never opened. Um, so that's that one was the King of the Ring chair, like Stone Cold King of the Ring chair, the purple one. So I mean, the most classic moment of all time, basically one of the most classic moments of all yeah. time, right there. Just sitting on a shelf, it's like it's crazy. There, the little neon light entrance that we used back in the early days of Raw. Uh, kind of a fun thing, it actually still works and it's kinked up and it in. That's sweet. Blood drops are fun. This is like when we drop stuff from the ceiling, oh. like blood or <laughs> green paint or other <laughs> gross stuff. Uh, it's basically just hanging upside down, fire, firework on it, kick it, boom. So, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple mechanism, but it's fun. It's, fun. it's pressurized. The rest of the WCW letters. The W's just don't read on their own. They're a bunch of like fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do have a I do have an office. I have to actually office unfortunately. I wish I was here all the time. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah I mean this you know. Beyond just being in history, like this is actually a functional, like this, all of the stuff that goes in and out of here is like for the show, yeah. right? So, and so live events. I mean, how often do they come back in here and just keep reusing stuff? All the time. Really? Yeah, every week. Uh, what did I see the other, so this thing called the, uh, the sedan chair over there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I get this call. They say, hey, we want to have Charlotte come to the ring. And you know one of those things where like people stand on all four corners, there's like hulking men yeah. holding up somebody. They're like, we want to have her come to the ring with that. There's no way you have one, right? Yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> from Kenzo Suzuki in 2005. Um, and it was used three times, so please. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's what it got repurposed. And I would say, for that, people were like, why don't you throw that stuff away? Why don't you throw that stuff away? People said that about the Punjabi prison. Yeah. They're like, when's ever going to use that again? Throw it away. Did Got you know, used, baby. Jinder Mahal would be champ eventually. <laughs> we all knew it was going to happen. <laughs> so. What was the... Uh all right, guys, that's it for the WWE Archives, WWE Warehouse, whatever you want to call it. It was an awesome experience. I wanted to leave it as unedited as possible so I could have a cool look at the WWE Archives and you can get a tour because not a lot of people get to go into there, and I thought it was pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys saw some cool stuff. And like I said, let me know if you saw something that I might have missed because there's a lot of cool things there. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And like I said, I got to play a lot of WWE 2K18, and that will be up on October 3rd. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for all 
that WWE 2K18 goodness. As always, guys, I'll catch you later, savages. <laughs>